Introduce yourself is an opening question to any of the interview. But whenever this question is asked, most of the student end up giving unwanted and unnecessary things. Don't worry. In this video, I will be discussing introduce yourself in more detail and realistic way. We will be discussing the things like why this question is asked, what is the wrong answer mainly student gives and what is the correct way to answer this question. Finally, I will be telling you one sample answer for the question. So I highly recommend you to stay till the end of the video to get best out of it. Just in case if you are new to the runtime error do subscribe the channel for more such informative videos now without any further delay let's begin why this question is asked now let's look at why introduce yourself question is always asked at the beginning of every interview there are basically two reasons behind asking this question the first reason is interviewer wants to know about you looking at your answer interviewer will immediately come to know that how good you are how confident you are how curious you are to learn new things and at the same time she wanted to know what you have done in the past the second reason is this question is asked to make you feel cool and calm before starting to the actual interview because whenever we sit for any interview we cannot directly start with the questions because sometimes we feel bit tense coming to the interview so basically these are the two reasons why this question is asked now let's check out what is the wrong way mainly student gives this answer what is the wrong answer mainly student gives looking at the wrong answer of the students there are certain mistakes student mainly makes so let's check out what are those mistakes are Mistake number one: telling everything about your family and schooling. While answering to these questions, most of the students tell everything about their schooling and family, like what their father do, what their mother do, x percent is in tenth, y percent is in twelfth. Do you really think that interviewer will be get impressed looking at your family background and at your schooling? No, really no, right? Because interviewer is interested knowing whether you are capable enough to fit in your particular role or not. He is not at all interested in knowing what your father and mother does, how many percentage you got in tenth and twelfth. So this is the first mistakes that student mainly do while answering this question. Mistake number two: telling the results directly rather than telling the action first. So basically, what happen is whenever the question is asked. most of the students tell the results obtained directly rather than telling the what action you took to obtain those results so the point is why the interviewer should believe on this, those results since we don't have any kind of evidence to those results so what we need to do is whenever you are telling any result make sure that first you are telling what action you took in order to obtain those results now let's look at what is wrong answers mainly student gives hi i am pramod bosle i am currently studying in xyz university with computer science degree Apart from me there are three family members father mother and my brother my father is farmer and my mother is housewife i have 90% in 10th and 80% in 12th my hobbies are playing cricket and listening to song from this answer you might have guessed that how boring this answer is since i have mentioned all the unnecessary and unwanted thing do you really think that this answer will create some kind of impact on the interviewer no really no right and most of the students nearly 90 to 95% give the same answer to the interviewer so let's check out what is the perfect way to deliver this answer what is the right way to answer this question now before looking at the right way to answer this question is let's examine what are the mistakes that we need to avoid while answering this question mistake number 1 don't tell anything about your schooling and family interviewer is not at all interested knowing your background and schooling and what you have done in 10th and 12th he just wanted to know whether you are capable enough for this particular role or not so be straight and focus on yourself like what you have done what you you are currently doing and what you have done in the engineering make sure that you don't tell anything about your two past things mistake number 2 don't tell the results directly when you are telling any results make sure that you are informing them what action you took to obtain those results say for example you are saying that leadership is my good quality is there any kind of evidence that interviewer should believe that you have strong leadership quality no really no right but what if i say that during my engineering days i was a member of organizing committee in which i organize many events and i came to know that how to handle the people and from this i can say that i have a strong leadership qualities see how well i described this right from this it shows a clear evidence that why you have a strong leadership qualities now let's look at what is a perfect sample answer to answer this question hi i am pramod bosle i am hard working engineering graduate specialized in computer science along with 8.1 cgpa apart from this i have attended many leadership seminars which help me to be a better team player also i am passionate about technical subjects like c cpp 
and data structure which helped me to develop my projects. I love reading books and currently reading a book called Daily Stoics written by Ryan Holiday. See how well I describe this answer. Do I mention anything about my family? Do I mention anything about my 10th and 12th? No. I directly focus exactly to the point which is required to the interviewer. So I hope so that this video has made some sense knowing how to answer the question, introduce yourself. Just in case if you are new to the runtime error, do subscribe to the channel for more such informative videos.